In this video, I will be showing you the most popular and recommended state management packages for Flutter app development. Firstly, if you are new to the world of programming, state management refers to the data that controls the behavior and the appearance of the application UI. The state in the app changes in response to the user input and the triggered events. And for developers, it's critical to manage the state effectively to build responsive and performant apps. Managing states helps developers to keep their code organized and maintained as the application complexity grows. Moreover, state management avoids code duplication and ensures that state changes are propagated throughout the app constantly. This simplifies adding new feature, bug fixing, and other customization to the UI. Coming back to Flutter development, in order to make state management smoother, there are several state management approaches in Flutter. So if you are looking for the best state management packages for your next Flutter project, this video can help you to explore and analyze the most suitable state management packages that can help you to build a high quality Flutter application. Here are some of the most commonly used and highly recommended state management packages for Flutter. Blob, Provider, Riverport, GetX, and MobX. Let's look into each of them in details. Blog stands for Business Logic Component. Blog is an advanced solution that provides a high level of control and predictability but can be complex to implement. It is a popular state management solution that separates the presentation layer of an app from the business logic with the blog layer. The blog layer acts as a bridge between the UI layer and the data layer. The advantages of using block package are it helps to make the code base more modular and easier to maintain. Each block can be developed and tested in isolation, making it easier to identify and fix bug. Block also makes it easier to handle complex state management scenarios, such as data dependency and asynchronous operation, by using stream to communicate between block and the UI layers. Not only that, Block provides a clear separation of concern, making it easier for developers to understand and modify the code. Overall, Block is a design pattern that helps manage the app state in a modular and testable way. Block is an effective way to handle complex state management scenarios in Flutter application, recommended for medium to large scale application. Next, Provider. This package is a lightweight and flexible solution for managing state in Flutter apps. The provider works well for both small and large scale apps and provides a simple API for managing states that can be easily understood and implemented. In context, a provider is a class that hosts some states and exposes it to other parts of the application that need to use it. This state can be any types of data, such as a Boolean value, a list of items, or even an entire object. The advantages of using provider package are using a provider can make it easier to manage and share state in a Flutter application, particularly for larger application or those with complex state requirements. It can also help to avoid common state management pitfalls, such as overuse of set state or complex callback chains, which can lead to performance issue and difficult to maintain code. Overall, Provider is less complex to implement compared to Block, and it is suitable for both simple and large-scale application. Next, Riverport. Riverport is a package built on top of Provider that provides an improved API for managing state in Flutter apps. It is built on top of the Provider package and offers better performance, scoping, and testability. The advantages of using Riverport package is that it provides a range of features that can help you to build maintainable and scalable Flutter application, such as dependency injection, scope providers, async providers, and state notifiers. Overall, the complexity of Riverport lies between block and provider. Riverport is most suitable for medium to large scale application. Next, GetX. GetX is a state management package that provides a full feature solution for managing the state in Flutter apps, along with navigation and dependency injection. GetX is easy to use, fast, and well documented. 
making it a popular choice for many Flutter developers. The advantages of using GetX package is that the library is designed to be lightweight and fast, which makes it a good choice for simple applications. GetX uses a reactive programming model where UI widgets are automatically updated when the state change without requiring any additional boilerplate code. GetX also provides several other features that can help you to build robust and maintainable Flutter applications, such as dependency injection, routing, localization, and more. Overall, GetX provides a simple and efficient approach to state management in Flutter with a range of additional features provided. GetX is highly recommended for small application. Lastly, MobX. MobX is a state management library that uses reactive programming to manage state in Flutter apps. It's well suited for complex apps with large amounts of states and provides a simple, easy to use API. It utilizes observables and reactions to automatically update the user interface in response to changes in the application state. The advantages of using MobX package is that with MobX, you can define observables, which are variables that can be observed for changes. When an observable is updated, any reactions that depend on it are automatically triggered, such as updating the UI to reflect the new state. Not only that, MobX supports computed observables, which are derived values that depend on other observables. Computed observables are useful for simplifying complex calculation or aggregation of state values. Altogether, the MobX package can help make state management in Flutter more efficient and easier to maintain by automating much of the manual work involved in keeping the UI in sync with the application state. Overall, the complexity of MobX is about the same as Riverport, and it is recommended for highly complex application. Conclusion, we have learned about the top Flutter state management packages and their benefits. Ultimately, the choice of which state management package to use in your Flutter project depends on your specific requirements and preference. Each of these packages has its own strengths and weaknesses, so it's important to evaluate them carefully to determine which one is the best fit for your project. So in our channel playlist, there is a playlist called Flutter State Manager. In this playlist, we have uploaded complete tutorials of each state management packages that mentioned above. If you have picked the best fit state management package for your project, the next step, you can check out to the playlist tutorial for the step-by-step -step code implementation guide of the package. Share with us the state management package that you are using right now and let us know what do you think about the comparison above in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.